Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a wear test and review of the new Power Fabric Long Wear High Coverage Foundation from Giorgio Armani. This is a truly first impressions because I have not um, seen any reviews. I Googled it and the only thing that came up is the beauty, for the beauty professor. I'll put her link down below. That is how I matched myself. She just does the best job at swatching and comparing different foundations so you can find the right shade. And that's how I match myself to this. And what I read online is that it is like a high, a very full coverage foundation. I'm a little bit apprehensive because none of his foundations have worked for me ever. Like I'm probably the only person on earth that hates the luminous silk. Uh, I'm gonna use the By Terry Elixir Day whatever to prime my skin and moisturize it. And this gives like such pretty coverage. Oh, it's this, I just love the smell of her stuff. I'm gonna use like, as of right now, this is my holy grail, which is the Milk Blur Stick. We're just gonna blur out all my pores. And I take this like all over my face because my face is full of like crevices and craters. 4.5 is my shade and that's how I match myself on Rachel's website. Oh, that looks like a pretty good match. And I'm gonna take the Smith 115 brush because I'm gonna try that out too. I don't even know how much you really need of this product, but we're just gonna go all in. We're just gonna go all in. Okay. The, hmm. It smells like sunscreen, which I like that smell. I like the smell of that in my um, foundations. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know about this. Damn it. I really wanted to like it. Okay, so this hair is bothering. So, I don't know if everybody will tell, but immediately when I blend this in, it's not blending very well. You're not gonna be able to tell on camera, but it's seeping into all of my pores right here. How is that possible? Cause I put this freaking blur stick on. Why is it like accentuating every freaking flaw on my face? And oh, I should probably say I have like combination skin. Maybe I just need to really blend this bitch out. So let's just see how it'll look when I just cover some of my bad areas up. Maybe it needs a beauty blender because that sometimes makes a huge difference with like really full coverage foundations. Sometimes um, you just need to sheer it out, but I wanted to try this brush and so maybe it was just like the wrong brush I feel like this is just grabbing at all of my bad areas and that's like my entire face I don't know why I even bothered. I've had the worst luck with his foundations. I don't know why I thought this would be different Can you guys see right there? It's like Seeping into my pores Let's go ahead and use this. I'm just going to put on the rest of my makeup.
thank you throughout my day and show you how horrendous this is gonna look. But we're just gonna test it out and see if it wears. Ugh. But right now, it um, I, I really don't like it. We'll just have to wait and see, so. Hey guys, so this is check-in number one. It is about two o'clock and I wanted to just check in. I'm actually at the nail salon. I'm gonna meet my sister and there's this parking lot is like atrocious. They have like six spaces. You can see, I mean, it's just nuts. I mean, there's a little bit of breakthrough around my T-zone, if you can see I'm kind of shiny. And this right here is breaking through. And that usually doesn't happen with um, other foundations. Natural lighting, I don't, I don't feel like it looks terrible. Um, I don't know if you can tell, see, it just, like through here, I'm not crazy about, I'm not crazy about it. I don't think it's a bad foundation. I think that if you have perfect skin, you probably would love it, or maybe even oily. But then like, I'm like dry to combo, and I wanna know why I'm getting this shininess here. So, and like the redness is kind of coming through right there, and it's only been like four or five hours. So this is the foundation and like different lighting. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. It's just not my favorite. Meanwhile, I'm probably gonna do those. Like that purple one, this one right here, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I hate this foundation. Oh, I'm so bummed. It's just not, it's not like wowing me. Does that make sense? I feel like the redness around my nose that you can even see on camera, which is insane. <clears throat> like what the hell's up with that? And I'm trying to think what I did wrong when I applied it. Like maybe it was like application. Maybe I should have used a beauty blender, but it didn't seem very thick. Like it didn't seem like it was super thick, like the Estee Lauder. It seemed like it would do well with a really good blending brush is what I used was the Smith. And it immediately sank into my pores. This is the thing. So this is, this LA Girl Pro Coverage HD is $10 and it has bomb effing ass coverage and it lasts all day, it's gorgeous, it doesn't settle into your pores. I mean, for as much time as it took me to blend and I had to like edit it down, that, that should not be like this. Like, if you had like perfect skin, maybe it would work for you. If you didn't have like enlarged pores, if you just had like no wrinkles, maybe this would work. Now I'm gonna do one more check-in, but um, I just feel like around here has just slipped off. I feel like it made this wear worse. So I feel like the breakthrough around the four hour mark made this just run down my face and that's why I don't have any on and I don't have any left on me anymore. That's what she said. I will be back because my kids are about to get off the bus and I'm looking in the monitor a lot. Sorry, that's so annoying when people do that. Like when I watch videos and they're constantly looking at themselves in the monitor, I'm like, edit that out. That's just like annoying. I don't know why it just really it bugs me. In a few hours, I will maybe check in like around eight or nine, like when I start to take my makeup off. Don't think that this product is really worth it in my opinion, I don't know. Because I've tried so many foundations and some are magic and then others like this one are just kind of, I just would say spend your money on a product that it's gonna give you longer wear time. I guess this, this foundation just sounded so amazing that I really wanted to like it when I read the description, but it's not. I seem to be not the norm when it comes to Armani foundations. Usually people love them. I am, I feel like I'm the only one on the planet that doesn't like the Illumina Silk. It just does not look good on my skin. And this doesn't either. So it's going back. See you guys on Sunday, because then I have a haul video, a Sephora haul. Um, so I will see you guys on Sunday. Oh, these are the, this is the nails. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, that's like the color I got bluish purple mm -hmm. anyway I hope you guys had a great I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye